the uses for Skype in education. I'm your instructor Cynthia Kennedy. In this particular tutorial we're going to move ahead and talk about how to use um, Skype for individual video meetings in education. One of the ways that you can use Skype for individual video meetings or one-on-one -on -one video meetings with um, people in education or for education is for parent-teacher conferences. At our school in particular, a lot of times parents call and say that they can't meet with a teacher in person due to scheduling conflicts, having to work, lack of transportation, or etc. That particular teacher and parent can come together and have a conference via Skype so that the teacher can be in the privacy of their home or their office and that parent can be in the privacy of their home and make sure that they have enough time and to talk to that teacher about a particular issue. Another thing you can do is you can a teacher can provide mentoring and homework assistance for a student. They can also provide after school assistance for those individuals that cannot stay after school for uh, extra help. Homebound students can view and participate in classes. This is really important. If a student is homesick with a chronic illness, a broken leg, etc., they can actually use Skype to view and participate in their classes so that they, they won't get um, behind in class or feel a little bit out of the loop when they actually come back to class after their illness. Another way is teachers can use Skype to share students' work. Uh, with parents and others. Let's say a student has a paper they've written, test scores that a, a teacher needs to review. That teacher can upload that information and share that particular document or the student's work with a parent and others. You can provide teacher training via Skype. A teacher can train with a teacher in Boston, New Zealand, on the, on the other side of town if they like and do teacher training so that you can cut those costs with traveling back and forth to different locations. You can receive teacher feedback. If a teacher needs to observe your class, they can observe a teacher's class during um, the use of Skype and they can meet one-on-one -on -one after that class is taught and they can receive teacher feedback on what's working, what may be a little bit better to do and those positive things that that teacher is doing. A teacher can conduct interviews. Um, an educator can interview a paraprofessional that wants to come for a class or maybe a student teacher. That eliminates them trying to set up meetings with so many individuals. They can just schedule over Skype and get it done. One important thing that they can do is that they can do instant messages to colleagues. If a colleague is in the building or across town, the teacher can send an instant message to that colleague and get feedback instantly. Well, this concludes our tutorial on how you can use Skype in education for individual video meetings. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.